Hello again, and thank you for staying with us. Now, Africans on the continent and in the diaspora are celebrating Africa Month. The continent is known for its rich and diverse cultural heritage, which manifests in arts, culture, fashion, cuisine, and natural resources. Many Africans have also made a name for themselves in the global stage through various accomplishments, such as the African Genius Awards. We are now joined by the Rector of the United Nations University in Japan and a former Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Johannesburg. Professor Makwarela, it's a pleasure to have you on the program. And now you were named as one of the winners of this uh, very prestigious uh, awards. Firstly, uh, give us a sense of uh, your initial reaction. Uh, what does this award mean to you? Oh, maybe just to correct my last name is Makwarela, not Makwarela. Makwarela, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I think, <laughs> but Mokwadila uh, is, uh, is yeah. a perfect uh, uh, last name. No, no, uh, you know, thank you very much uh, for uh, interviewing me. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, I learned uh, when I was in Ghana, I just flew, flew in from Ghana, that I uh, have won that uh, award. Uh, so I am obviously... Uh, uh, in a reflective mood uh, because uh, we have a lot of things that we need to do in the African continent. Right. We have an army of people that we need to educate. We have 1.3 billion people that we need to feed. We have, uh, we have disputes and conflicts, whether it is in the DRC, whether it is in Sudan, that we need to stop we need to silence the guns once and once for all. And um, as I accept this award, I am also aware that there is quite a great deal that needs to be done for us to be able to achieve the sort of uh, uh, Africa that we deserve. Now, in your opinion, what qualities or characteristics define an African genius? And how do we see these qualities reflected in some of your fellow nominees and the exceptional abilities in their respective fields here? Well, I mean, obviously it's quite a privilege to be uh, mentioned alongside uh, Dr. Charles Mukwengwe, who obviously won a Nobel Prize and has been working uh, very, very uh, closely uh, on the topic of uh, protection of uh, women, very, very important. So it's really uh, an honor to be sharing uh, um, any form of a prize with people of that uh, excellent uh, caliber. Uh, but I also, uh, you know, uh, take award like this uh, knowing very well that much of the work that uh, might be attributed to me, I did it with... Uh, with uh, research collaborators, I did it with uh, excellent students uh, whom I have taught, whom I have supervised. Uh, so this is not just me, it represents all those people who have contributed towards uh, my contribution to science, to leadership, uh, to the fourth industrial revolution in Africa, uh, to artificial intelligence in the continent of Africa. Now, Prof, uh, the African Genius Awards also aim to uh, recognize individuals who have made these uh, outstanding contributions to African societies and uh, also have positively impacted their communities or societies. How important is it to even honor and uh, celebrate such individuals? Well, uh, it is important because it reinforces and encourages others to do a little bit more than they are required to do. So it's very important. In psychology... Uh, you have a theory of reinforcement. Uh, and the theory of reinforcement is actually based on two premises. One, punishment and reward. And of course, punishment is not the way to go. Uh, this incentivizing perhaps is, is the best word. Um, so I consider this as an incentive uh, to do more. Uh, I consider it as, um, as a signal to other people um, that they should do more in whatever you do. It is important uh, for the ecosystem of our society, whether it is uh, the political ecosystem, whether it is uh, the economic ecosystem. All those ecosystems work 
by each and every one of us doing more than we are required to do. Now, we recently celebrated Africa Day, which uh, very interestingly also coincided with the announcement of the African Genius Awards. Can you shed some light on the significance of Africa Day in the context of these awards? Well, I think Africa Day is very, very important. Uh, it is important, and I wrote an article on Daily Maverick just reflecting on how far we are uh, towards uh, uh, the African Union's Agenda 2063. So uh, 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 it, was, it, was, it was important, but again I will go back and say that uh, the, the Africa Day becomes meaningful when we leave no one behind, when we ensure that everybody in the African continent is educated, when we ensure that uh, no one goes to bed hungry, uh, when we ensure that uh, no one feels threatened, um, uh, by violence and they are protected and uh, social security is available to take care of those who cannot take care of themselves. I think that is the significance on Africa Day and I would challenge uh, uh, people that during Africa Day just pick one thing that you do for the African community. It might be going to a school and reading for young people whatever it is yeah. let us make it much more meaningful. Uh, Professor Mahwala, we are running out of time, but before I let you go, uh, just wrapping up, I mean, the AGA also seeks to uplift African societies and as inspire Africans to make these significant contributions to the development of the continent. Uh, how do you believe the African Genius Awards actually contribute to this goal and also inspiring hope among young Africans as well? Well, uh, it contributes to uh, this by highlighting people. Uh, uh, so that people can learn about them and learn from them uh, and go out there and change society. Well, uh, congratulations once again. And my apologies, it would seem that the other surname is still embedded in many of our minds. That's Professor uh, Cheritsi Mahwala, the rector of the United Nations University in Japan and uh, former vice-chancellor and principal of the University of Johannesburg.